Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, is it just me or is this show going really fast? The fifth episode is out and we only have five more episodes to go. It's probably because the first three episodes were released at once, right? Anyways, let's talk about the latest episode because it was incredible. And we have new clues about Danny's mysterious past. The episode starts with Raya's preparation to talk to Danny, and immediately after, we see them sitting and talking in the famous interrogation room. Raya's intention is to learn more about his childhood, and I think that's a long story. Through flashbacks, we see him and his twin are spending some time together. I want to ask you all if his brother is even real or not. At this point, I'm not sure. Yes, RBA mentioned him earlier, but maybe she knows every personality of him. Who knows? He says Adam was the one who always had his back, just like Yitzhak and Johnny. To be fair, I'm questioning every single character I see in this show. And I really don't trust our mysterious young man's narration because it seems like he's a pretty unreliable narrator for sure. But since his mother mentioned Adam, I want to believe that he's real. Unless Danny made this conversation up. What I definitely believe is that he got bullied. Even when he was a little kid. He didn't have the easiest life and all those incidents may have triggered his mental issues. We see that Danny gets in trouble in school and he goes straight into the principal's office. Then we see Mr. Jones, the guidance counselor, and he seems creepy, don't you think? Well, in fact, we learn that he is creepy indeed. We'll get there. But first, let's talk about Danny's relationship with his mother, shall we? Because it's just really touching to watch these scenes. They both seem really loving. And when he wants to go to work with his mom because he doesn't like staying at home alone, she accepts it. The bar scenes were great too, at least to a certain point. Let It Be by the Beatles is playing in the background. He is drawing dinosaurs, and everything is very serene in an intriguing way. But then, black people enter the bar. A white racist man causes trouble and ruins everything. He hits the black man and his blood splashes into Danny's face. He believes that the blood stain on his face changed him, and everything that came after is related to that particular violent moment. Later on, Danny says that his dad's going away left them vulnerable. His mom was constantly sad, and they needed a savior. And that person is Marlon. But I'm not sure if he's the perfect fit for this definition. We all remember how he treated Danny, right? I've always strongly believed that there's more than that. And he actually abused him. And unfortunately, I was right. It seems like everything was okay in the beginning. Marlon seemed a sincere and caring man who would take care of his stepson as if he's his biological father, and we even see him saving Danny. So at this point, we should go back to Mr. Jones. We see that when their class is over, Mr. Jones asks Danny to stay a while and touches his legs. He's aware that the little kid is in a vulnerable state because his father is away and his mom is really busy. So he decided to take advantage of him. Probably the worst thing about their interaction is that Mr. Jones calls him son. Then Marlon comes and saves Danny. Well, that was pretty unexpected for me. After that, we see Adam is in Marlon's car, but he and Marlon don't talk much. When Marlon says that he's about to propose to their mother, Adam asks really. And Marlon gives an answer. But he doesn't look at his face while answering his question. Instead, he's focused on Danny. That's just another reason why I believe he might not be real at all. Another thing why I believe that theory is because Adam returns from his visit to his dad and he mentions how much their father misses Danny. But our little boy says that their mom wouldn't let him visit his father. How come Candy let Adam visit Pete, but not Danny? It definitely smells fishy, don't you think? In the car, we see. Marlon says that they need to make a pack, and in return, he will help their mom financially so that she can keep taking care of them. You probably got the picture by now. He might have saved the little boy from Mr. Jones, but who's going to save him from Marlon? Those scenes where Marlon tried to convince Danny were really disturbing to watch. But something interesting happens, because in the end, we see him taking Adam into the barn instead of Danny. And my theory about Adam just got stronger. I believe at that point he shifted into Adam's personality in order to deal with the incidents. Heaviness we also learned that Marlon kept abusing and raping Adam, not Danny. Moreover, Candy never knew about those incidents. I believe Marlon's involvement in their lives triggered Danny's mental issues. 
Maybe Adam was just an imaginary friend that almost everyone had when they were kids. But his approach to Danny made things worse. And in result, he came up with other personalities. I believe we'll see Candy and Danny in the upcoming episode. And who knows, they may talk about Danny's mysterious brother. What do you think? Do you think Adam is real? What do you think will happen in the upcoming episode? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.